Iranian reporters turned the tables by asking questions around racism to Team USA ahead of their showdown on Tuesday night. Tel Aviv issues a bizarre travel warning to Israelis heading to Qatar for the World Cup. Tony Blair says it isn't wise for the UK to be criticizing Qatar. And finally, everything about the 2022 FIFA World Cup is covered right here. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. U.S. men's national team coach Greg Berhalter and captain Tyler Adams were grilled with a series of political questions by Iranian reporters ahead of their mega showdown at Al Thumama Stadium on Tuesday night. The Iranian reporters were turning the tables on the U.S. after Iran coach Carlos Keres was hounded by Western journalists about matters that didn't involve Iran's football team. A reporter also rebuked Adams for pronouncing Iran, I ran. Adams apologized, adding that they support the people of Iran and their team. The Americans need nothing less than a win to secure your passage to the round of 16, a draw would do for Iran. Israel's National Security Council has raised the alert for Israelis attending matches at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The alert level, now set at level 3, is just one level below states Israel classifies as enemies. This is despite no attacks or violence taking place against Israelis at the World Cup. However, Israeli reporters have been shunned while trying to provoke fans with Qatari citizens and residents alike shunning all forms of normalization with the Zionist state. Former Prime Minister of the United United Kingdom Tony Blair says it is ill-advised for the UK to be criticizing Qatar in any capacity, especially as the Gulf state is the biggest investor in London. This comes after reports emerged of Doha reviewing their investments in London on the back of the TFL banning any ads related to promoting visits to Qatar for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Blair also told LGBTQ campaigners to refrain from disrespecting Qatar, saying that their protests were not sensible. Coming up tonight, A and B will be ultimately decided. In Group A, Qatar played their last game of the tournament against the Netherlands, whilst Senegal and Ecuador go head-to-head -head for one available slot to the knockout. In Group B, England take on Wales with a point enough for the three Lions to qualify, and Iran will battle it out against the US men's national team in a match with high stakes on the line. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.